Hi guys, today's reading is going to be a love message. This is going to be a reading for those of you that need it the most, for those of you that will resonate with it the most. Um, if you're interested in a personal tarot reading, as this is going to be a general one, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Let's take a look and see what messages are coming up for you right now. At the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is, there's a certain charm, there's a certain energy of romance to the Knight of Cups. Um, and he is a messenger. I'm picking up an energy of An energy of I don't know it feels like the things you should have said or the letters the text messages you should have sent or the chances you could have taken or the shot you should have taken at something Maybe the person that I'm uh, speaking to, maybe you let, there's something or someone you let pass you by because you were afraid of getting hurt again. And maybe you feel like this decision is now haunting you. I also feel like There's quite an emotional passion or an emotional integrity uh, within the person that I'm connecting to. Typically the knights are someone who... The knights are often very young, very idealistic, very adventurous. They're out there to seek, to explore the world and explore parts of themselves as well. The night is an energy that is always filled with hope, it's always filled with ambition, it's an energy of dreaming big, pursuing big. Um, there's an emotional passion or there's an emotional integrity or an emotional, like a creative energy within the person that I'm uh, connecting to. The person that I'm connecting to, you are very much in touch with your emotions right now. Some of these emotions aren't all very positive. Of course, we have the Three of Swords energy, which is emotional pain, emotional upheaval, maybe even emotional chaos. It's a very emotionally, emotionally chaotic kind of energy. It's, you know, maybe drowning in your tears, um, just being tangled up in all sorts of emotions. You are a very sensitive being. You are a visionary. You're a creative energy. And you're someone who takes risks. You take risks in pursuing what your heart wants, in pursuing your heart's desires, in pursuing your dreams. Um, you have to know that something here didn't work out for you because there may be something that's better for you in store. The energies indicate that there are new opportunities for you on the horizon. New opportunities in love, but also new opportunities in like creative expression or creative freedom. You are being encouraged at this particular point in time to stay open, to be open to new experiences, to take risks, okay? 
even if, okay, and in spite of the fact that you are still, it feels like your energy is still being haunted by a risk that you took and it didn't necessarily pay off. But um, there is this deep, there's still this deep emotional wound that you carry. And I think this is, this emotional, there's been some reminders in your life recently around this emotional wound, around someone who has broken your heart or around someone who's caused you a lot of pain or emotional trauma. Pain is a part of life. You cannot escape pain. It is an opportunity for you to heal what you're going through. The pain that you're feeling now is trying to communicate something to you. It is trying to... Maybe it's trying to give you an opportunity to grow. Maybe it's trying to give you an opportunity to heal. Maybe it's trying to encourage you to face your pain. Even if it feels painful. Even if it feels really awkward and uncomfortable. But allow yourself to grieve the loss of whatever he. Whether it was a relationship, a dream, an opportunity, a friendship. There's, you have to let go of your emotional wounds. You have to let go of something he that is holding you back this energy is holding you back from opening yourself up from maybe even from loving yourself loving parts of yourself that you have suppressed maybe opening yourself up from new experiences also holding you back from i think your creative expression your creative energy you in order to move forward you need to move forward with a clear heart but your heart still feels heavy with some sort of emotional pain or some sort of emotional wound the person that i'm connecting to i feel like forgiveness is absolutely important in healing and in growing um, and you know the pain and the suffering that you are experiencing or you have been feeling that pain i get the message that that pain is useful is going to be useful for you someday and maybe that someday is now um, some of you are in the midst of a deep emotional journey okay you're experiencing heartbreak or loss or rejection or separation but at the same time whilst you're going through that your heart is still filled with love your heart is still filled with passion and creative energy you are being the knight of cups is here because he's asking you to stay true to your heart hold on to your dreams and stay focused even though whatever it is that you're going through it's distracting you it's distracting you from your goals from pursuing um pursuing your dreams pursuing your goals uh but it's a reminder that you have to hold on to you have to hold on and stay focused even when the journey feels difficult to hold on and embrace forgiveness let go of these negative emotional experiences. Embrace forgiveness and acceptance in your life. A new chapter is possible for you, okay? Or even like a creative expression right now. Because some of you, I think that you're wanting to pour a lot of what you're feeling. Use that as fuel and pour it, pour it into a creative expression of some sort. Whether it's a book, whether it's a, a story, a play, a, a, you know, photography. I don't know, something like that. And you've been suppressing that part of yourself that creative part of yourself that artistic part of yourself because it's difficult but once you allow the creative expression once you allow yourself to feel that pain it's also going to be very transformative and very healing and you're also going to find transformation and renewal through this energy um because even though the journey feels very difficult, I think all of this pain, it is useful, okay? It's it's transforming you, it's growing you, it's helping you to heal. There's two energies that are coming together in this reading. It's creativity and it's this an energy of yearning or an, an energy of longing for someone or something. When these two energies come together, they create an energy of motion, an energy of action. Mm -hmm. 
this pain is temporary this period of separation or you know whatever difference is not being reconciled sadness rejection heartbreak dispute this is all just very temporary because it will pass What is going to give you nourishment is that creative energy. Ex like finding an outlet, expressing yourself and finding an outlet for your pain. That could also help with healing, uh, speeding up the healing process. You are feeling very sensitive and you're very attuned to your emotions and to your own soul. The Knight of Cups is an energy of inspiration. And this energy of inspiration is bringing you prosperity is bringing you prosperity, healing, abundance. I feel like to the person that I'm speaking to, you are an artist, you are a creative being. You need to bring your emotions to the surface. You need to bring your emotions to the surface and you need to find an outlet for those emotions. So a creative venture of some sort. You might be experiencing a blocked creative energy, a writer's block, or you just might be, this pain might be blocking you from expressing yourself. You might be just too cynical of your own talents, too cynical of, you know, what this pain is here to do. Um, I think this pain is bringing out a shadow aspect of yourself. I feel there's an energy of a fear or of intimacy. And I think that to the person that I'm speaking to, if you need to, you'll know that you're moving in the right direction in life when you're being yourself if you're pretending to be someone else it's only going to decrease your natural light that people are drawn to that people feel connected to you are a sensitive soul and people can they feel like they can relate to you they feel like they're drawn to you um you're on this spiritual journey is what you're on and you'll know you're on the right path you're headed in the right direction when you stay true to yourself. When you stop pretending to be someone else or something that you're not. Explore the deep feelings that you're feeling. And they're not all positive, I know. But explore those feelings and you're going to experience ecstasy. You're going to experience uh, euphoria. Turn your energy into things and into people that pull on your energy. Anything that attracts, anything that pushes away your energy is repelling you. Okay, so turn your energy towards something that is pulling your energy. There is a dream, a vision, a goal, an ideal that you should be following or that you want to be following. The question is, are you? Alright guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you for watching and listening. Please show your support to the channel by liking, sharing and subscribing. Bye for now.